Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy. Welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial on creating a sidechain pumping effect by using an aux track. Um, we're going to use an aux track because it allows us to group multiple instruments into one sidechain uh, aux, and then we can allow other instruments that we don't want to have sidechain to bypass that aux. Um, the stereotypical way of doing this is to take a kick drum, uh, use it as a sidechain source, um, via a compressor, and the compressor only compresses when the kick hits, um, creating that stereotypical sort of EDM electronic pumping effect. Um, so let me show you just a basic musical example that we're going to use for this today. All right, so it's pretty dry, it's pretty bland at this point. Uh, I've just got this um, little synth idea up here. That's just the chords. I've got this uh, bass idea backing up that synth idea. And then I have these arpeggi ar arpeggiated strings here. You can probably barely even hear those in the mix because they're getting drowned out by the bass and the delay pad. And then I've just got a basic four on the floor uh, ultra beat pattern. It's nothing special. It's just uh, three samples, a kick, a snare, and an ambient clap. So the way we're going to approach this is we're going to keep the ultra beat just the way it is. But we're going to add another track down here just for the kick drum. We're going to isolate a copy of the kick drum from the Ultra Beat kit. So that's what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to duplicate by clicking here my Ultra Beat track. I'm just going to call this Kick SC. I'm going to uh, just join all these clips together by hitting J. Uh, hold Option and duplicate the clip down here. Put it in place. Let's open that up. And we're going to delete everything that isn't a kick drum. So I'm going to click on the... Uh, um, well, as you can see, my snares are on D here, so I just click on D and hit delete. All my claps are on the ambient clap are on E, so get rid of those. Now, the other thing is the side chain sort of effect that I want is just a quarter note effect, just boom, bump, bump, bump. That's where I want the compression to hit. So there's this extra little sixteenth note in the drum pattern that we don't want. So we're gonna delete that. We're gonna omit that. Um, and really because it's basically the same thing that repeats, you know, four, eight times, it's say, the same eight bar pattern that repeats eight times, I'm just going to take my um, um, marquee tool in, in bar mode and just sort of trim this up. So I just have this little two bar idea here. Hang on, let me get my cycle range situated here. I'll just solo that out. So it's just a kick drum. Uh, it's just a kick drum on quarter notes. Um, so what we're going to do is click on that. And we hit uh, Command R to repeat it. And we'll join all those together. All right. Now, the thing about side chaining um, is that you cannot use MIDI data or a, an instrument track to side chain um, compress. Um, and again, the whole goal of this is every single time one of these kicks hits, the compressor is going to duck down, is going to compress the signal. Um, the sidechain source has to be an audio source. So we have to convert this MIDI data to audio. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to um, bounce and join. I'm going to go to bounce in place, or you can hit control B. I'm just going to call this SC kick. We'll create a new audio track. There we go. So now we can get rid of this MIDI track. And we have this side chain kick here. I'm going to go ahead and mute the Ultra Beat just for now. So 
So there we go, just quarter notes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I'm gonna mute the arpeggiated strings for now. I'm gonna take the bass and the delay pad and we're going to send them to a common uh, auxiliary channel strip. And then we're gonna compress both of these together with that pumping effect with our side chain kick here. So let me just open up my mixer and hit X. And I'm gonna go to options, create new auxiliary channel strip or uh, control N. I'm gonna call this aux track uh, SC group, so side chain group. Pull the volume up, whoops, let me just uh, do that. <laughs> I was picking up my microphone. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm gonna throw the compressor on here, the dynamics compressor. I did show how to do this in another video in my main Logic series, but the compressor was the old compressor, so it looks a little bit different. Really all the controls are the same, it just looks, it really just looks different. Now you can use any of the circuits that you want for this. Um, I just like to use the digital one for this because we're using the, the, the compressor, not really for any, like a tone, we're really creating just a musical effect. And the digital um, circuit really is like the most uh, reactive, I suppose, probably the most accurate. It may not give it the best vibe, but it's, it is the most accurate. So um, when I adjust the attack and release times, it's gonna be pretty accurate. Um, so what I'm gonna do is up under the sidechain menu up here, we're gonna go choose our SC kick track that we just created by bouncing that MIDI to audio. Now you may see a whole list of audio tracks up here if you have more than one audio track in your session, but notice that none of the MIDI or instrument tracks are listed here. So that's what I was saying before, your sidechain source has to be an audio track. So we click on that. And what we're gonna do just for now is I'm gonna set the compression ratio to one to one, which basically means we have no compression. Um, let's group both of our delay pad uh, and the bass, the delay pad and the bass together into this aux track. So I'm gonna create um, an input for this aux track. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna use bus one. So bus one's gonna input into this aux track. And these two instruments are gonna output to bus one. So when I uh, hit play, both of these instruments are gonna play through the side chain group. So let me just mute everything else for now. All right, so I just turned the limiter on there just to keep us from clipping. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna engage that side chain kick. Um, here's the cool thing about side chain with like a kick drum like this is the side chain source actually does not have to be on. It can be muted and you can still hear the effect. For now, I'm gonna keep it on. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to dial up our ratio, our, the amount of our compression, dial down the threshold, and you'll start to hear this that stereotypical pumping effect I was talking about. Now our synths are getting a bit, uh, hang on, let me turn off that reverb for now. It's just getting a little annoying. I'll turn it back on later. Um, you'll notice that the synths are getting kind of drowned out by the kick drum now, but you are hearing that pumping effect that I was talking about. Um, one thing we can do is pull the makeup gain up to make up for that loss in volume. Now, the amount of that pump that you want to hear is really gonna be determined by how low the threshold is and how high the ratio is. So if we go all the way up and all the way down, every single time that kick hits, it's really, really hitting. Um, what we can do is we can adjust the attack and the release time to control how fast the, um, the attenuation takes place. I'm gonna pull them both all the way down. I'm gonna pull the threshold up a bit, pull the ratio down just a bit, and I'll toy with it until I get the sound I like. All right, 
So what I was saying earlier is that the sidechain source, the kick drum here, doesn't actually even have to be on to hear the effect. So let's mute the sidechain kick and let's see what that sounds like just uh, with the effect in there. Alright, so the side chain source is just going to remain muted. Then we can pull in our arpeggiated strings and our ultra beat and let's see what that sounds like. All right, so basically I just I bumped up the bass a little bit in the um, uh, in the bass instrument. Um, I threw the the, the uh, reverb back in on the uh, the delay pad. Uh, added a limiter just to the sub uh, the side chain group just to sort of um, keep it from clipping. Um, the other thing is you know now that the strings are actually coming through uh, a lot better because the the bass and the pad are being ducked every single time the kick drum hits. Now one last thing is that. The um, when the side chain kick is not present, you won't hear that effect at all. You won't hear any compression at all. So this opening right here, where the chords are just sort of open without the side chain effect or with anything else playing, you won't actually hear the side chain effect. You'll only hear the effect when there's a kick drum down here. So one mistake a lot of people make is they say, "Okay, I want to repeat this section," so they repeat the section, but then they like forget to repeat the side chain kick. So and let, you got to make sure that you repeat your sidechain source wherever you want to hear that effect. So let me just play this one last time and then uh, uh, we'll be done. And as you can hear, because the, the sidechain compression we're using is so heavy, well, when the sidechain source isn't there, the, the volume here is very, very loud. So you may actually want to consider you know, duplicating this, um, putting it on its own track, um, the, non, you know, the, the uncompressed uh, uh, parts, and pulling the, the volume way, way down just to compensate for that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a great way to send multiple instruments to an aux track and, and compress them um, on kick hits or really any instrument or any sound whatsoever. Um, I've used this even in rock tracks just to send the guitars and the bass over to an aux track and then just side chain the kick drum just slightly just so that when, when the kick hits, uh, the guitar and the bass get out of the way. Um, so it's it can be used as a, a musical effect like this, but it can also be used as just a, like a mixing uh, a mixing technique as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.